you know, I've made several videos regarding the fact that uh, black youth, especially males, are under attack. In this particular story, you're going to uh, see what happens uh, and how much uh, uh, pain and heartache and suffering uh, transpire over a phony or counterfeit $10 bill. We have a student uh, uh, in high school in the state of Texas, and the city will be um, divulged uh, within the video. I believe it's somewhere down, I think it's like League City, which is somewhere down near uh, Houston. Anyway, this 10-year-old, uh, 10-year-old, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I believe the kid is uh, 12, 13, he's, he's in high school, finds a $10 bill. Nobody is going to jump up and scream, uh, did anybody lose a $10 bill, you know, if you pick up a $10 bill off the floor. Anyway, kid goes uh, to buy his lunch with that $10 pill. Now, there must have been a serious problem going on because the cashier ran one of those uh, counterfeit uh, uh, detection pens across the $10 bill and found out that it was fake. Anyway, I'll, I'm, I'll let the uh, video uh, basically give you the details. All right, folks, let's go to Texas. This unbelievable story. A 15-year-old in Texas faces felony forgery charge for using a $10 bill to buy ham sandwich and chips in school in November 2015. Alec Hunter found a $10 bill on the floor at Elkins High School in Fort Bend, Texas. He attempted to buy his lunch with it. After the cafeteria worker ran a special pen across the bill, discovered it was counterfeit, she passed it on to a school police officer. Two months later, the Hunter family received information in the mail stating that Alex was being charged with a felony. Well, this week, Hunter went to court for a pretrial hearing, but the case was reset for May 23rd. In the last three years, three of the Houston area school districts have handled dozens of counterfeit money cases, and every case where race is listed in the files, the suspect, all suspects have been students of color. Joining us via Skype to talk about this is Alec Hunter and his father, Lewis Hunter. Uh, both of you, welcome to News One Now. So, so Alec, you, you, you find some money on the, on the ground, all right, you go for lunch. Uh, I can't, the average person, they found some money. All right, cool, I found some money. We can go ahead and spend it. Uh, and then what was your reaction when all of a sudden they say, dude, we're charging you with a felony for, it was counterfeit. Um, I feel like they overreacted a lot over the timing situation with $10. Um, they, I know it's stupid how they follow through with having to take this to the point where I have to take this to court or you have to spend money on the attorney, on the legal fees and everything. So you're basically spending over like $15,000 just over a fake $10 bill. So I found that really irresponsible of them. Lewis, what about that uh, in terms of, uh, what was your conversation with uh, the school district, with, with authorities? We're talking about literally in the criminal justice system, you're about to spend thousands of dollars over a $10 bill. Uh, it, it's frustrating to me as a parent. Uh, his mother and I are, are, have always been some, the, the biggest advocates for Alec. He's always performed well. He's never been in trouble. Um, by and large, he's an AB student. Uh, and to see that this has come to a point where uh, the school has never reached out to us. Uh, there was one call made between November 7th and today, and that was from the Fort Bend ISD Police Department. And that call was made to Alec's mother as indicating that they wanted him to make a statement. Uh, once she said that she did not want him to make a statement to law enforcement uh, without myself or her present, uh, they proceeded with the case and we get a letter in the mail uh, so that uh, wanting him to accept uh, a deferred prosecution, probation, you know, counseling sessions, you know, and there was a running theme that he was somehow at risk. Uh, an at-risk child and you know I, I just you know I, I, I'm grabbing to, to, to wrap my brain around how a kid who is an AB student who has never been in trouble uh, from kindergarten to the 10th grade um, how he can be labeled as at risk this is I, I guess what, uh, what what really bothers me is that in them, them investigating do they realize that it's not like he had other counterfeit bills? Did they, uh, did they actually believe the story that he found it uh, on the floor? 
There was zero investigation. Um, I've been completely transparent through this whole process. They've never interviewed witnesses. Uh, there was never an attempt by the school. Uh, there was never an attempt by the school to call myself in or call his mother to come into the school. Um, we did not want him speaking with law enforcement on a criminal case, and I don't think any responsible parent would want that. Um, so no, uh, there are cameras available. We've requested those. We were told that uh, that Elkins High School switched cameras uh, sometime after the incident, yeah. and that they were unavailable. Um, you know, he didn't get caught with a backpack full of ten dollar bills. You know, this was a kid who. Uh, who, I, and it's hard for me to even say he made a mistake. He found $10, you know. Um, luckily, you know, we've had the support of, of a lot of people that have stood up in defense and surrounded Alec in defense. Um, he can't have him. They can't have this one. Alec, uh, how has this impacted uh, you in school? Uh, it, it gave me a bunch of attention, and I don't like, I don't like being like over the radar, really. But in this case, I think it's good because I want to stop things from this happening to anyone else. Because if a kid like me, that makes A's and B's can, you know, get in this much trouble over something so small, then does that mean that everyone, everyone else, well, that everyone else is at risk? Uh, so, so I hope to put a stop to these kind of things happening to other students. Rhonda? Yeah, um, Lewis and Alec both, what I would suggest certainly is there seems to be an issue here within the school district. I mean, what school districts have counterfeit pens? So it seems like various schools are having a problem with counterfeit money. It's not just your school. Their demand must be an investigation into how this counterfeit money is getting into these schools. This is obviously you know, a, a vast problem that is not being investigated, you need to demand that broad investigation of that issue because I'm sure then they're going to get to the bottom of who's distributing this money in the school and it certainly is not your son, Lewis. I'll say this, I, I've, I've gotten calls uh, since all this has happened. Uh, as I said, I'm humbled by the support that we've gotten, uh, but I've gotten calls from students uh, who in, in their freshman year four years ago uh, have, uh, were charged with the same thing and had to go to alternative school and get counseling and, and then uh, spend the money it's only for the cases to get dismissed. And uh, if this has been a problem, and when words are used like uh, that they had to make sure that there was no criminal syndicate involved, we've never once gotten a letter from the school district. The leadership at Fort Bend ISD has never got in front of this problem yeah. and stepped in front and sent a letter saying, warning parents that there was this risk. Um, however, if my son misses first period class, we get a call within 10 minutes, a robocall, uh, that he was mar marked absent for that day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, Lewis and Alec, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, look, uh, good luck in this case, and we'll uh, follow it to its conclusion as well. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, so again, uh, this is just uh, the system attempting to uh, snatch another uh, young black man and uh, put a strike on him for at absolutely nothing absolutely nothing this should have been resolved immediately the ten dollar bill should have been taken um, the kid warned uh, you know maybe uh, a notice on uh, his record that uh, there was a you know counterfeit ten dollar bill involved and that's a school record not a criminal record you know, so that if it happens again in the future, then maybe you, you got an issue. But short of that, nothing should have been done here. Law enforcement basically uh, should not have been involved with this kid. Now, I can tell you for a fact that um, I have been given uh, counterfeit money, okay, unbeknownst to me. You know, somebody, you know, asked for change one time. Um, and you know I had to change so I basically uh, got a, a, a bad hundred dollar bill and uh, I went to uh, walk in the store obviously to use the hundred dollar bill I was told the bill was fake um, I knew the store owner so they handed the bill back to me and I was uh, able to uh, to get rid of the bill and uh, went back to the uh, you know going back to the person that gave me the bill and uh, basically gave them hell for, because it was my opinion that uh, somebody had uh, passed it on to them and then they turned around and passed it on to me so it got passed it got passed back but um, you know 
like uh, the father said, you know, this kid didn't have, you know, a backpack full of uh, phony $10 bills. And obviously, uh, I'm sorry, normally they don't even take the time to, uh, to print bad, you know, uh, counterfeit $10 bills. They prefer to print bad $20 bills because it takes too long to pass a sufficient amount of them in order to, you know, to, you know, generate the, you know, the, the money that you're looking for. So they normally start with 20s and they work their way up to 50s and 100s. But, you know, this is really, to be honest with you, the first time I've even heard of, uh, and I know they're out there, but this is the first time I've heard about a, you know, a phony $10 bill. Hopefully, um, this case uh, is gets, uh, the case should basically just be thrown out. The, the prosecutor should take one look at this and, and drop the prosecution and, and uh, let this, you know, let this whole thing die. But uh, in Texas, you gotta, you, you, you really uh, gotta stick to your guns in Texas because every prosecutor and his brother is basically looking to, uh, to uh, make his name on anything that he can because the majority of them have political aspirations. So they wanna, uh, they wanna grab stuff that they can basically uh, plea, you know, if they can plea bargain it down, so it shows a prosecute, you know, a, a victory in a prosecution, uh, and then they, you know, go on about their way. This one, you know, if they lose initially on this, I would appeal this as far up as I could because this is a bunch of crap, and it's too bad that you can't turn around and sue for your uh, legal fees because you could, like they said, you got to spend. Uh, ten to fifteen thousand dollars on an attorney over a, a fake ten dollar bill, and, you know, and it's a kid with no record, you know, good grades, no, no issues. This is a bunch of bullshit. But it's just another attempt to uh, put a mark on another black male uh, that doesn't deserve it.